Hey guys, it's Mike, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Talk About Reaper, the show where we talk about Reaper. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys something that I recently found in, in Reaper. I've been using this for several years, but stumbled across something that apparently not a lot of people knew about. Um, sometimes you have a large project, and it can be a bit difficult to navigate through some of your tracks and figure out where you want to be. And what I found is a built-in feature called the Navigator. Now the default key press in Windows for accessing that is Control Alt V, and that'll bring up this window here. But you can also find it underneath the View menu. Just go to View, and then down uh, about maybe 75% of the way or so, you'll see Navigator with that same key press, uh, Control Alt V, and that will bring up this window. Um, in and of itself, it looks like you've got a ghosted rectangle that you can move around to navigate around the project, but I found some additional key presses that, uh, some mouse modifiers rather, that'll help you to get around even better. If you'd like to focus on a specific area, you can hold the right mouse button and draw a rectangle around the desired area. And you can see the arrange view in the back is moving as I uh, draw this rectangle. There's only so far you can go because it will only let so much be on the screen. But once you've got that rectangle drawn, you can left click and drag to move that view window around the project wherever you need to go and the arrange view will follow to, to match wherever you're dragging. You can also just left click directly any area and it'll take the size that you last drew and move it to that area. If you move your scroll wheel on the mouse it will change the horizontal size of the view window so I can make it uh, larger or smaller and then still move it around. And if you hold control and scroll it'll change the vertical size. So you've got lots of options to figure out uh, what size you want and be able to move to anywhere that you want on a project with a good degree of accuracy. Um, as I find more things like this, if you guys like this type of video, I'll try to figure out the format for doing this sort of thing and add more tips and tricks as they're available. Thanks for watching.